Now, I know that uh, there's going to be a segment of people for which, no matter what we put out, uh, this issue will not be put to rest. But I'm speaking to the vast majority of the American people, uh, as well as to the press. We do not have time for this kind of silliness. We got better stuff to do. I've got some very important breaking news for you dealing with the whole President Obama birth certificate issue. But before I get into the latest developments, I want to make it clear. In the last three years, I did not embrace the birther issue. I'm somebody that questions government. Look at Nixon lying to us. Look at uh, Clinton lying about Monica Lewinsky and then Cruz missling a African aspirin factory as a political diversion. Look at George W. Bush premeditatedly lying about WMDs in Iraq and being caught. So it's good to question. But there's all these real issues out there that Obama needs to be confronted on. Continuing torture, wars, giving health care waivers to his friends that don't have to get the insurance. So many things. And I've wanted to focus on that. So when this whole birth certificate issue first got raised three years ago, I thought it was a red herring, a distraction from issues. But then a year or so later, when they released this government receipt of a birth certificate and told everybody that this was the original, and that nothing else existed, and you were a crazy conspiracy theorist if you believe that a long form existed. Looney Tunes, and this uh, craziness has spread to Capitol Hill for real now. Well, everybody's getting on the zoo bus when it comes to this question. Nutty questions about the president's birth certificate are being fueled by conservative talk show hosts like Rushbow himself and, of course, some others like Lou Dobbs. Yeah. I'm showing you his birth certificate. Oh, I can't. I'm it's on the screen now. Take a close look. <laughs> I knew that that was a lie. I knew that I had the original blueprint with my feet prints and my weight and the doctor's signature on it. I knew that that was a lie, but still I said, eh, who knows? Then the White House spent over $2 million fighting lawsuits that were trying to get his long-form birth certificate released. Then the governor-elect Abercrombie of Hawaii said in January as he was going into office that he would get the original birth certificate and release it. Then he told some of the uh, newspapers there in Hawaii that he'd looked for it and couldn't find it. And I started saying to myself, man, this is really weird. Even if he couldn't find it, he's a Democrat. Why would he say that he couldn't find it? It got stranger and stranger. Then about a month before this book was set to come out, where's the birth certificate by Dr. Jerome R. Corsi? Obama out of the blue comes out and gives a press conference and laughs about it and says, here is my original birth certificate. Here's the long form. And I'm like, wow, they're being honest, long form. So I said, good, we can put this red herring to bed and now focus on the real issues like Obama going along with the Republicans uh, in the continued banker bailout of tens of trillions of dollars. But then our phone started ringing and we saw major uh, Photoshop blogs that weren't even political looking at this and pointing out that when you put it in Illustrator, you could break it into layers. And, and, and that's normal, except that normally it only shows two layers. There were a whole bunch of different layers and different areas were more pixelated and were lower res than other areas showing clearly that it had been altered and Photoshopped. Then I began to notice that this was a typewriter, but if you blew up letters printed by the typewriter, stamped by the typewriter, that they were exact copies of each other, which is impossible. A typewriter uh, is a key striking uh, the ink ribbon, and depending on how hard you hit it or how it strikes the paper, each one is different, like a fingerprint or a snowflake. Then I noticed that in the same type, there were different letters from a different font. You've got the code number uh, out of sequence and out of date. It was as if this had been forged on purpose to make this the issue. And I pointed that out uh, in our YouTube video that's gotten over 600,000 views on the subject that this is a shoddy fraud. It's well known that they have federal agencies like the CIA and others that are masters at making near perfect forgery. So why was this so shoddy? And why would Obama counter Donald Trump going around talking about the birth certificate issue and Dr. Corsi's book that was about to come out if it was a fraud, if it was a joke, if it didn't matter? 
And as soon as we looked at this document, it was clearly a fraud, clearly a forgery. And we asked ourselves, why? So understand, ladies and gentlemen, I'm nonpartisan. I'm a constitutionalist. I'm a libertarian. I don't like the Republicans or the Democrats. And I'm on record for that. I simply look at things and break down the facts. Now, the new information enters the story. And here's where it gets crazy. Today, Esquire, a, a, a known attack dog and political partisans of the Democratic Party, came out and savaged World Net Daily published book by Dr. Corsi, Where is the Birth Certificate? And put out this huge hoax saying that it was being recalled 200,000 copies, that uh, Joseph Farah, the owner of World Net Daily, had chewed out uh, Jerome Corsi and that he was offering for people to get their money back and for publishers to send it in. And this was not done by a satire uh, writer. Uh, this was not done by somebody who uh, uh, noted on the article that it was satire. Once the story launched and Joseph Farah said he was going to sue or was thinking about suing, then they added a little blurb at the bottom saying, hey, this is satire. Now, this does a lot of things here. It, it, it shows the White House is desperate. Uh, this came out on the same day that the White House told uh, ABC News and others that they're going to run, not on Obama's record, of basically being a Bush clone minus different rhetoric, and that they were going to put out T-shirts about the birth certificate and make it a big joke because they don't want to focus on the issues. So clearly, in, in a concerted effort, they're still afraid of this book, they come out and create a hoax saying it's been discredited. The publisher has removed it. He's taking it off bookstore shelves. You can get your money back trying to create a grassroots buzz for people to try to get their money back. I mean, this is economic espionage. This, this is an extremely uh, dirty trick. And if the White House has already discredited all this, and this is their new campaign slogan, uh, why then would they engage in this type of just unbelievably dirty trick? And it's because they are scared. Well, it now turns out that Dr. Jerome Corsi is going to be coming out in the next few days, including on my radio show uh, this Friday, and breaking down their forensic experts uh, that have proven that basically this is a composite of multiple real uh, Hawaiian birth certificates from 1961. And that is what we had said a month ago when all this first broke. Uh, again, at first on air, I was like, well, okay, looks like it's real. We'll have to check it. But there you go. Let's move on to real issues. And then we look at it and it's like, oh, my God, this thing is fake on purpose. So either it's they didn't want to use an agency and they use Bob down the hall to do it because they were afraid of leaks to make a good fake, a good forgery, or they are simply engaging in a psyop trying to make the whole debate continue to be about the birth certificate because it's balkanizing and divides the people along an issue that doesn't deal with the banker bailouts and the corruption and all the things that both major parties are involved in. But either way you slice it, this thing has been altered. I mean, uh, in more than 50 ways, and that's conservative. Then you've got the White House releasing the latest final birth certificate, and it's got this green hash background that is not on the copy that the Associated Press uh, reportedly went to the stacks and got. And Dr. Corsi is, says he's going to produce evidence showing that they basically have gone in and inserted this into the book, the same book uh, in the archives that Governor Abercrombie couldn't find. And then you have the fact that this doesn't even have the official seal. None of them do. Not uh, the first AP one, not the one the White House released. And again, I could go on for hours. This is a giant mystery, a giant whodunit. I don't know why they've put out this fake birth certificate. Uh, he may have been born in Hawaii. I would rather debate Obama on the issues, just like I'm against most of the Republican people that are running. Ladies and gentlemen, it's up to all of us to figure out exactly what's happening. But uh, the norm for presidents in these corrupt administrations is to lie to us. And we have Obama come out and tell us that this is his birth certificate when they told us two and a half years ago that the last copy was the official birth certificate and nothing else existed. We've been lied to so much by government that we would be idiots to just believe what they told us because they told us. Uh, it is common sense to question these people. 
And I wish we could end this issue, but it's only getting deeper. And maybe that's what they want. Tell us what you think. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.